Craig Perlowin. I live here in South Las Vegas with my brother Bruce Perlowin. And uh, we're just showing you here how we live just in a normal neighborhood, which we're about 75 miles from Dolan Springs, which is our model for our kin's domain. We have a house with some five acres of land that we subdivided into two, two and a half acre parcels because the kin's domain is to be built on two, two and a half acres, two and a half acres of land. And we're going out today. We go out every weekend to, because we're starting to do our planning. Hi, I'm Bruce Perlowen and we live in a normal neighborhood here in Las Vegas and we're just about now to drive 75 miles from this house to our sample kin's domains which we're building out in Dolan Springs. Um, so we're about to leave and one of the things we want to demonstrate is the economics, every nuance of the economics involved in building a kin's domain. So commuting from a city out to your kin's domain is one of those economic considerations. In this particular uh, aspect we're showing exactly how much it costs in gas to drive out 75 miles from Las Vegas to Dolan Springs and back again. So let's say it costs $2,000 in gas over, let's say, a year period, okay? And we won't know, but we will determine that. Well, $2,000 in gas times 100 kin's domains is $200,000 a year. Now the concept of maybe building your own biodiesel plant, a small one or a big one, really starts to make sense. But until you document every aspect of every iota of the economics involved. In this one, it's the economics of commuting back and forth from a city, which is a standard thing that people do. They go out on the weekends and come back to the city. All right? Makes a big difference. Numbers tell a story. All right? And if you take the numbers and you add them all up, it will tell you a story and give you a direction on what happens when a group of people are all spending the same amount of money. So here you see uh, what it cost us to fill up uh, our, our uh, Dodge Caravan. You'll see the mileage and you'll see how long it took us to go back out there and back and what the cost is. Now we've already determined, just for those who are mathematically inclined, that we can go from here to the house and back on one fill up. All right, exactly, with 30 miles left over. So that's a nice even round number based on this receipt and going out there out there, back, out there, and back. Uh, that's the cost of gas to get to the Kins Domain for us. Thank you. I roamed and rambled and I followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. All around me a voice was sounding This land was made for you and me When the sun comes shining Okay, here's a drawing of a typical kin's domain for people that, you know, want to build their kin's domain. You'd notice that two-thirds of trees, you have your pond, you have your organic gardens, here's some more organic grain, you have your natural beehive, uh, the family tree is probably this one over here and your little house where you go and you have natural childbirth. Some outbuildings and some stuff, a little bridge across the pond, some pasture land. Again, notice the, the walkway between the living fence around the king's domains. Here it looks like they have orchard and fruit trees, the same as we want to do here. So again, this is just an example of what a typical king's domain looks like in its uh, full development. Here's a diagram of the kin's domain we're building out here. Notice that there's two kin's domains on this five acres with a walkway in between. That's the front one with the uh, gardens to the left that we're going to be rototilling today, those fair, four squares that you see. The pond, the, uh, the, you know, the trees, the orchards. This is an organic chicken run uh, in there we're for the natural rain-free chickens. Uh, that my wife wants to do that, and we have an area for other birds. Here in the back kin's domains is the house, four gardens over to the right, those squares, 
And let's zoom in at the house. So this is a two-story house. The office is on top floor. Uh, a deck in the back, and so you can sit in the deck and watch your orchard trees. I like sort of high-end living, so we will have an indoor pool and a jacuzzi, solar powered, solar heated, uh, and, uh, with windmill power and heat as well. And um, again, over on this side, we have the greenhouse because we want to grow citrus inside, and it's on the southern exposure. Now, uh, again, there's the. Um, this is a tower to put live stream video uh, to, to diagram the whole thing. The kids of Maine next door could that be a nursery, as an example. Here, my one has a barn for little horses. Here's the windmill and solar setup with two wind, windmills. The wind is coming from this direction uh, to spin the windmills over here. Is a GMP compliant dried fruit, healthy mushroom, etc. production. Honey, jams, nuts, whatever we grow there. On this side is the hemp candle production, hemp soap production, uh, coat or key rack uh, things, any little widgets you can build. Uh, in your hemp domain. This will be a two-story building. We have shipping and receipt. Okay, so here we've made it so that when you walk out your front porch, you'll be able to walk down into the first 40 by 40 acre garden. Okay, so now this outlines the second garden that you saw on that picture. Okay, so this is the second 40 by 40 garden, which will be rotor tilling starting tomorrow. And here's the third 40 by 40 garden. Again, think back to the picture and the description I showed you on the wall. All right, and here's the fourth garden. All right, now, now this is the beginning of your kin's domains. We mark it off, we have our gardens marked off. All right, now over here, we have the beginning of your living fence with these trees. We're going to be we're going to be planting polonia trees, which is a very fast growing tree. We'll talk about that later. And here is the section where I have that little forest where you're going to have a dome tent in the middle of it. All right, if you notice, there's a very windy area here, the house. So this entire section here is the free range chicken thing. What you didn't see in the picture is a second chicken coop, which is that little building over there. We'll turn that into a chicken, little chicken coop. Of course, we have to learn how to build chicken coops, but we will. And so the chickens will go there, and they'll go in there, and they'll hang out, and they'll be buddies and hang out in the yard together. If you look back behind us, you notice that we have basically a clean slate. It's nothing but desert land. We'll clean up the wood, we'll clean up the trailer, and we're going to video this whole thing live streaming from an entire nothing here. In the front, we have starting with the house. Here, we're starting with nothing, a clean slate on how to build a kin's domain. So let's walk over here, and we're going to show you the second series of gardens. So you can head. Okay, so now here's the back kin's domain. And as you saw on the map, we have four 40 by 40 organic gardens in this section. We have here. We didn't mark this one out quite as nice as the other one because we're just going to rototill this and we may have to put wood or some kind of fence to keep the wind from blowing the soil. George, our expert, will be out here tomorrow. He'll tell us how to do it. We got 40 by 40 and where that travel trailer is, you can see there some marked off area on the bottom and that's again that section where we ring the uh, polonia trees and make a little sort of circle on the side. That could be for drum circles, could be for meditation, it could be for just hanging out in the woods, surrounded by all these trees. Now when we get done here, the wind factor, which is pretty aggressive in this area, will be cut dramatically by the trees that we plant all over the place. So we could be standing here in the future with this much wind, but we won't be feeling it. We've done studies of wind and how to build trees to make the wind go above your head and have a nice comfortable environment here. And looking back, you can see the water tanks, the barn which will be a, um, which will end up being a chicken coop, the house, and all the other things you saw on that diagram on what we're gonna build and how we're gonna build it will be complete. And again, 
we will have stream live streaming videos so you can see every step of the way what we do as we do it and we call that kins 101 so that'll be the model kins domains for this big huge development that we're doing over across the road on uh, the, the land which is called Golden Golden Ranch or we call a section of that Hidden Valley and with that welcome to Kins Domain 101 the beginning of how to build your own Kins Domain from scratch thank you for being here